podcast and welcome to my first Q&A in quite a long time. Uh, this week has kind of been like an admin week. I've spent most of my time planning ahead for 2017 and the coming months. But so much has already happened this year that I thought now would be a good time to sit down and answer some of your questions. Before I did that, I wanted to ask you guys a question as to whether you actually enjoy these kind of like face-to-face -face videos. Um, back in the day, I used to always think Q&As and these style of videos were quite boring, quite, quite dull, not a lot going on. But recently, I've really come to enjoy them because whilst I'm trying to power out four videos a week, it's quite nice to take a step back every now and again and just kind of talk you through what's going on, whether that's talking you through editing or updates to the cards or plans or collaborations in the works, whatever that might be, I kind of enjoy it a bit selfishly. Um, so if you would enjoy a sort of monthly podcast update kind of vibe that is filmed, as I say, in situation, maybe I'll make this bedroom into a bit more of a studio vibe. Um, let me know, put, put a comment below um, if, if you're up for, yeah, an STG kind of podcast once a month. If not, then uh, I'll scrap it and my future Q&As will be uh, attempting to go sideways in the McLaren. Uh, anyway, I'm now gonna get into your questions, which I asked you to submit on Twitter, if you don't follow me on Twitter, it is seen through glass, but with the through spelled T-H-R-U, so slightly weirdly. But yeah, make sure you follow me on Twitter, link is below. And you guys submitted the questions using the hashtag AskFTG, hashtag, so many hashtags there. And starting off, we have got Sensei from Japanese Warrior, who has asked, do you still love the Stradale after getting the McLaren? Oh my good Lord, yes. The Ferrari 360 Chan Stradale will forever be one of my dream cars. Um, my obsession and love for my current McLaren 540C takes nothing away from that. And this year, I'm determined to spend more time in one. I'm trying to work out how I could potentially get in one for a road trip or maybe like a month or a couple of months, something. I'm not gonna buy one now, I don't think, because I don't have the money. <laughs> and I've always said that I will only buy that car when I feel like I've accomplished everything in life. It is such a, a childhood poster car for me. It holds such importance that I don't wanna buy it, you know, and then sort of not use it or, I don't know. Anyway, I still love it. And hopefully this year there will be more Challenge Tradali on the channel. Zach, will you ever come to Canada? You know what, I'm really intrigued by Canada. I would love to come. I love America, obviously, and I'm British, and I feel like Canada is the amalgamation of the two. Um, I've heard great things about the driving roads. Winter, summer, apparently it's a beautiful place. So yes, Canada, 2017, it's not on the works for 2017. It could be, but probably that's a 2018 trip, I think. Tom Saunders, which non-motoring YouTuber would you like to collab with? Hmm, interesting. I love collaboration. I love collaboration. I love to collaborate. Um, uh, it's one of my favorite things to do and non-car related is actually really interesting. Um, I love filming with Steve Booker in the last year. I don't know if you guys saw that. We went uh, shopping for sneakers in a Bentley and it was just really cool to do something with someone who it does a different side of YouTube, seeing how they operate, seeing how they do things. Um, so I'd love to film with Steve again. Uh, in that light, Ben Brown as well, who's one of Steve's very good friends. I love watching Ben's videos. Uh, he's much more on the biking side, but I think that would be cool. Um, uh, Tom at Project Syndicate, uh, his new love for F-Type. I think it'd be cool to go out and hoon Jaguar somewhere. Um, I'd also still love to do something with one of the makeup girls, like a Zoella, of like, you know, can she do her makeup? around Silverstone while I'm driving a Ferrari or something. Anyway, there's always collaborations that I'm bearing in mind. Paul, Paul Spencer underscore six. How long do you think you will keep the wrap on the McLaren for? And will you ever wrap both cars the same color? Um, I have no plans to change that wrap. Um, I said in the wrap video that I chose the color before I chose the car. Um, I don't know why, I've always been obsessed with that satin khaki since Dub showed it to me the first time. Uh, so I have no real plans to change it this year. I know a lot of people change the wraps on their cars and that is one of the best things about wrapping is that you can take it off, you can change it, you can uh, make patterns with it, blah, blah, blah. But for me, I love it. Um, so whilst there might be other modifications to the McLaren, more on that soon. Uh, I think the wrap will stay at least for a considerable amount of time. Uh, don't hold me to that, but yeah, my plans at the minute aren't to, to, to not change it. Ben Willis, will, what exhaust will you get for the 540C? Hmm, Ben. Uh, now you're slightly ahead of time because there is uh, an exhaust video coming on the McLaren very soon, talking through all the options and blah, 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 why I kind of want a louder exhaust. Cause it does sound so good that car already. But as I say, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because that video is coming. But the exhaust system that I have now chosen after, after, what is wrong with me today? I need another coffee. Uh, after months of deliberating, uh, not months, because I've only owned the car a couple of weeks. 
Anyway, as you can see, I've completely lost the plot. Larini. I'm getting a full Larini system for the car. I am so excited. As I say, there's so much to talk about in that exhaust video that I don't really want to talk about it now, but I did want to announce that I'm getting a Larini exhaust system put on the car. It probably won't be for a couple of months because they're building the system uh, right now, custom for more. Um, so more to come in the exhaust video, but yeah, I'm announcing it now. Larini system coming to the car, stay tuned. Hey Kevin, when are you guys going on a road trip? Kevin, what a brilliant Carl West John. Um, that's kind of what this week has been about. As I say, um, I'm still trying to pump out as much content as possible for you guys, but uh, uh, the main objective of the beginning of my year was to obviously find a new car and reveal the new car. And now that's kind of done and out of the way, I've taken a step back this week slightly to plan. Um, so that's why I'm doing this Q&A now. Uh, it's just been all about my focus is about 2017. And in terms of road trips, that's what I want to be doing this year. As many road trips, as many adventures as possible. And kind of the first one is this Sunday. So Paul Wallace uh, from Supercars of London and Mr. JW W and I are off to Palm Springs in America for the Michelin Pilot Supersport 4 launch. I cannot wait for the trip. We've got a couple of chill days beforehand where we're going to be doing various bits and bobs. Um, and it feels like the first kind of group trip that we're doing. James is on a slightly different schedule to us, but I believe we're all flying out there together. Uh, so it should be really good fun. Following that, um, Geneva Motor Show, hopefully, Top Marks, um, some other trips around Europe, uh, Scandinavia. I want to go to Eastern Europe, like Bulgaria, Croatia, back across to America. There's so much in the works, and as soon as there's more information to share, I will share it. But not only am I planning a lot of trips for 2017, but as a group, we are trying to plan lots of trips together. So I'm stupidly excited for those to begin. Uh, Darren Wannell, what do you take in your coffee? Oh, Darren. Uh, yeah, coffee's such a big part of this channel that uh, I thought I'd include this question um, for you coffee uh, aficionados. Uh, I actually go to Starbucks, which I know is like, boo, but I just love it. And I get a flat white with two of those Truvia Stevia sweeteners, because I'm healthy, uh, and some cinnamon. Your internet friend, are you selling your bath? Because when you started looking for a car, you said you wanted to find a supercar that is livable with. I'm not selling the Abarth. Um, when I made that whole reveal video about the Abarth, I said I got it so that I could look at potentially buying a supercar next. It wasn't so I could buy like a stripped out hardcore supercar like Seb's new Lotus. <laughs> it was so that I could have a supercar and not need to use it every day. Um, the Abarth is perfect because as mad as it is, it is the ultimate London car. It is tiny. It is so quick. I still don't think I've put across how quick that car is well enough on my channel. I need to do more videos about that. It is so quick. You can park it anywhere. To the unassuming or the unknowledgeable eye, it's just a Fiat 500. Uh, to us nerds, oh, it's an Abarth 695 Bifosto Record Edition. Uh, but most people, you know, whilst they look at it because it's bright yellow, uh, they just think it's a really nice Fiat 500. So, it's not that sort of like supercar attention where you get nervous where you're parking it or don't want to take it into underground car parks and blah, 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 blah. So it is perfect for everyday life. So I'm not planning to sell the Abarth. Um, at some point I might change my daily, uh, but right now, as I say, it's the ultimate car. I love that car to bits. Boosted, boosted official. Love the new car, Sam. Everything you'll buy a tuner car like a Super Evo Skyline or Subaru. Well, funnily enough, on the sort of um, uh, Bath note, before I bought the Bath, I very nearly bought an Evo Tommy Mackin edition. Like, so close. I really like, I put a deposit down on one. Uh, I never test drove one, so I'd still love to do that. If anyone out there owns a Tommy Mackin edition, please let me know, because I'd still love to drive one. I'm not really sure why I changed my mind. I just sort of did, but I just think that car's awesome. However, if I had bought it, I would have left it completely stock. I wouldn't have touched it. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, massively reworking some of these cars. Some people do it immaculately and amazingly, um, but I like the sort of, I like the way they come out of the factory. I do, I just like, I like them stock. Weird thing to say. Harry Pinder, what's it like owning a supercar? It's weird, Harry. <laughs> I haven't got used to it. Um, I thought the 4C was kind of like a supercar owning experience because it was super low, super wide. I was nervous about where I parked, it got a lot of attention, but it was nothing like actually owning a real supercar. Um, it's mental, I'm not used to it. Uh, I'm finding it slightly awkward if I'm honest because it does get, so much attention and you have to be that kind of supercar weirdo who parks 20 meters away from the curb and takes speed bumps really slowly at different angles and everyone on the bus looks out the window and stares at you like it's amazing don't get me wrong it is amazing it's just quite intense evil Ras, will you be working with lenny the geezer again anytime soon 
yes. I love Lenny. You might have seen that he was in my Autosport International. Yeah, Autosport International video. I keep forgetting the name of that event. Um, it's always great to see him and we are planning our next video. So stay tuned. Collaboration with Lenny coming soon. And finally, Lewis J. Reed. If you could change one thing on the 540C and the 695, what would it be? Hmm. Well, a 540, we've already spoken about the exhaust, and as I say, a lot more information to come on that. Um, would I change anything else in the 540? A lot of you have been sending me links to the Novatec kit, and especially the Novatec wing. I don't think I'm really a fan of wings on McLarens. If you look at the range, apart from the old F1, the current range, they've never really had wings apart from the high sport versions. Um, and it does look cool. I just don't think it's, I, I don't know. I, got, I need to see one in the flesh. I need to see a Novatec rear wing on a sports series in the flesh. The rest of the kit I really don't like. Um, would I change wheels? I might change wheels at some point, probably just to other McLaren OEM ones. But no, I mean, I love that car so much that I say once the exhaust is on, I'll be ecstatic. Uh, 695, the suspension. I think that's the, because I love that car, but I would make the suspension like 25% softer. Not super soft. But just 25% softer because that's the only thing that like every now and again like great. So it's more when I have passengers, I'm like, I'm really sorry about the ride. Uh, when I'm by myself, I don't really care. But when I've got passengers, I'm like, sorry. Uh, so yeah, maybe that's that's what I would change. But anyway, I mean, that's it, guys. Uh, you submitted a load of questions on Twitter. So sorry if I didn't answer your questions. But I felt like those ones kind of like summarize the general vibe that was going on. Um, as I say, for me, now that the McLaren has been revealed, my year kind of kickstarts from this weekend. Um, I've spent this week doing the admin, but also upgrading a lot of equipment. So I've bought a whole load of new gear, which hopefully you'll start to see in the videos. Um, and Sunday sort of marks for me the beginning of all of the exciting stuff that is planned. So I cannot wait. I hope you guys are excited too. Give it a massive thumbs up on this video if you are excited for the general sort of automotive vibe that's going on on YouTube at the moment. Um, I cannot wait to get going. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.